So that's why I say that these rods are so much stronger than just normal rods like this. That you guys out there are correct. Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. So I previously made a video saying that these rods are stronger than rods that are just circle. I added some curves to these rods so it's not fully circle. And many of you say that it's false, that these rods, they have the same strength, it's not true and stuff like that. Well, in this video, I will do some testing with these. Even if I don't have a fancy machine, I will make my own machine and test it. I will also tell you the reason why I said that these rods are stronger. So let's scratch today's experiment. I will first tell you why I say that these rods are stronger than rods that are just circle. Then I will show you the rods that I have modeled and 3D printed. Then I will set up my rig of testing these rods and then we will see exactly if this is true or not. Is it stronger? Is it weaker? We will find out. So if you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel. If you don't want to hear this part out, you can skip to this timeline right here. As you can see here, it's an RC car. I bought this RC car like a long, long time ago and it still works 100% but I just take them off and here's the sneak peek of what's coming in the future. So how is this related to the rods? Well, these RC car comes with rods inside here so that it connects to the motor and to the wheel so this thing can spin. Those rods are plastic just like just like these control arms right here. And when my car got stuck, I still full throttle and this thing spins super fast and it broke the arms inside this wheel. So what I do? Well, I got 3D printers, right? So I went on Fusion 360 and model my own rods. The rod that comes with the RC car are like this. It's just circle with these two offsets at the end. When the car spins super fast, it just twisted and it broke. So what did I do? So I went back to modeling and I model this one, as you can see here screws, it has all these indented, it has outside pattern and stuff like that. And I put this in the RC car, it haven't broke since. These are very strong, even if the car is stuck, it can still spin and these will not break that easily. So that's why I say that these rods are so much stronger than just normal rods like this. So for this experiment, I modeled many rods like this and I'll be testing them out right now. I will set up my test station and then we will test these rods. Let's go. So I quickly modeled this thing to do the rod testing and I'll mount it to my desk because that's all I have. And I'm going to use what I have to work with. So under my desk here, it has these two brackets. So I'm just going to use this for the testing experiment. Okay, here we go. Got it in. Snugly and it's sturdy. Well, I'm on the ground again and I have this weighted vest. So I'm going to be taking those weight out and put it into this bucket and we will test the rods. These three rods are printed standing up like this and I made three of them. And the first one here is just a normal circle one. The second one here has four grooves on the outside there. And this one is the one that looks like the one that I use on the RC car. And all of these are five millimeters. And to show you that these are still useful, well, I have a better here fits perfectly with the normal traditional rod. The one that has the four grooves or the one that has the four cutout also works as the same. There is a little bit more room. So in theory, you can definitely make this rod a little bit bigger and that also provides strength. And the last one here is the one that has all these shapes plus some grooves on the edge. I have my bucket right here, Halloween bucket. I'm gonna put the rod inside here. Like that. Try to try to put this in the middle and then I will put these weights in there. These are roughly one pound. I will weigh them after this rod has failed. So here we go. One pound. Two pound. Three pound. Four pound. And five pound. Ooh, it's holding. And by the way, and the filament that I'm using right now is PLA Plus from Elegoo. It's their Rapid PLA Plus. Okay, here we go. I lost count, but I will wait them after this. Oh, the book in my broke first. <laughs> Look at the bucket. <laughs> oh my gosh, the bucket has deformed. Here we go. This weighted vest is only 20 pounds, so if it goes over that, we'll have to use something else. Oh, I'll move it towards like this. 
I feel like the bucket might break first. Oh my god, <laughs> it's actually holding almost 20 pounds. What? This is crazy. Last one. I lie. Here we go. Oh my god, this is this is really interesting. Last pack. And it still holds. Wow. I'm completely out of sandbag. But it's kind of funny. It, it is kind of funny. Yeah, I think it's breaking in slowly. I don't have anything else. Oh wow, and it broke. It can hold 20 pounds for quite a while and it broke. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was actually quite terrifying. It broke in half and it kind of bent it a little bit. Okay, so all of that weighs about 19 pounds, 12.1 ounces. The circle rod can handle that much. And that is the bucket plus all the weights. Let's go down and do this one. Okay, let's go. Two pound, three pound, four pound, five pound, six pound, seven pound, eight pound, nine pound, ten pound, eleven, twelve. Okay, it only holds 12 pounds. Well, that is very interesting. <laughs> so maybe I was kind of wrong, but we are not done dizzy yet. We have one more rod to do. So that's 11 pounds, 14.9 ounces. For this rod, it's only 11 pounds, 14 ounces. The last kind of rod that has shapes and dips and stuff like that. First pound. Two pound, three pound, four pound, five pound, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, only eleven pound. That one holds ten. Pound 15.5 ounces. Interesting. <sighs> okay, wow. <laughs> this is very interesting. Ooh, it's. I don't know what's wrong with it. Because, like I said, on the Aussie car, this one works better than this one. But for this testing, the rod that is just pure circle is actually so much stronger than the one that has all these grooves. Oh, <laughs> Wow, I am so wrong. Wow. Okay, okay. I will admit this time that you guys out there are correct. Traditional rods are stronger. Maybe, maybe it's just some applications, right? Maybe for rods that are spinning with the wheels, these are stronger. But for just bending and bringing them, these are stronger. <laughs> and, wow, well, yeah. I don't have any words that were very interesting, so I think I might do more experiment with this in the future and will let you guys know, but I am. This is actually really interesting now. I will actually want to do some PDG, ABS, ASA with rod testing because I like printing these stuff. Yeah, well, damn, man. <laughs> wow, doing this experiment or doing the testing of the rods here is actually so nice so that we you and I were mostly me and I proved myself wrong which is so amazing in a way <laughs> thank you so much for all the comments let me know in the comment down below again did you find this video interesting? I did really find the testing interesting and <laughs> and as always keep on 3D printing